I am absolutely giddy this morning as I'm doing my blog as I have discovered a couple really cool ways to use ChatGPT to replace old statistics on your blog with new statistics. So what I did this morning is I used AI technology powered by ChatGPT to write an article, okay? So I've got an article here and it's all about the print on, best print on demand niches for the holiday season inspired by another creator who made a video and I give her the props and then I'm breaking down the article and I'm elaborating on each paragraph because I want to expand on it, right? So as I'm elaborating on this, and it looks something like this, I'm, I'm using a couple of Chrome extensions. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you a, a few really cool features here. So the way I do this, when I'm writing a blog and I've got other videos that show you how to do this, I actually am using, right now I'm using a Chrome extension that's free called Harpa. Okay, this is Harpa right here. So I take a YouTube video that I'm inspired by and I'll open the commands here. You guys have seen me do this with Cider, but I'm actually really enjoying Harpa now for this particular activity. I'll click compose and then it'll I'll say write an article and I'll tell it how many words, 1,400 words, or you could do unlimited. I'm not going to get into all that today because I really want to talk about finding these stats. And then I just hit enter, and it's going to write me now an article inspired by this video. So it actually reads the page and then writes an article based on the page. Then when I copy and paste that article over to my blog, I take each section of the article and I ask ChatGPT, through the Harp extension to elaborate on that particular portion. Well, when I was just doing this, for example, right here, look what's happening. So we've got Christmas themed pregnancy or baby announcement shirts. And look at this, it included a link, okay? So see here, it says, according to Statista, the global baby apparel market is expected to grow from 62.36 billion in 2022, yada, yada. So this is a nice current statistic. But what was interesting is when I did this this morning, the original version gave me an old stat. So rather than 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 being web aware and searching the web, it was pulling its, you know, the last time it scoured the web and pulled in data. And it gave me an old statistic. I've already removed the old statistic, but it gave it to me, right? Oh, here it is down here. So then it gave me the link for that statistic. And I thought, let me check how old this link is. And when I clicked through to the link, it was actually from 2019. Well, 2019 is not going to work for me in a 2023 blog. So here's what I just tested. I took the link and for me, I tried it in Harp and it didn't work as well. So I have another free Chrome extension down here called Cider. I'll, I'll put the links in the it below. So this is Cider. I have a referral link. I don't have an affiliate relationship with them, but I have a referral link. It's free unless you want to do yada, 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 you know, one of those kind of things. So what I typed in was right down here. Here's my prompt. Find a more recent stat. And then I put a colon and then I pasted in or just allowed the system to copy in what that old stat was. And look up here what it gave me. The global baby apparel market was valued at approximately 62.36 billion US dollars in 2022. So it found me current stats without me having to go to Google and type it in and try to find something. This is such a time saver, but wait, there's more. So then I thought, how would chat GPT handle this specifically? So watch this. I copied it here. So this works in its current form, but I wanted to see what ChatGPT in its native form would do. So I came over here and I opened ChatGPT. And in my case, now that uh, Search with Bing is back, I'm going to search the web using Bing. So I've got to wait for that to, there, it, here it comes. So I did four GPT-4 for this example, and I did Browse with Bing. So if you've not used this yet, there are... Uh, extensions, ChatGPT extensions that you can add to the ChatGPT platform that will allow you to do certain things. Now, this is new. I haven't played with that. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'll come back to that later. Anyway, Browse with Bing is back. It wasn't there before, and it's here now. If you don't see it, you may have to add it in the, in, in the plugins, but right here, it's in there now, so that's cool. So I'm going to paste it right here. 
So whatever Chrome extension, you're, whatever ChatGPT extension you're using, you might have WebPilot or one of those that allows you to search the web. So find a more recent stat. I did the exact same thing. Now watch this. This was cool. So if, let's see if I get the same, same response out of it this time. To me, what it did was actually even better than that quick little side extension because it creates a more elaborate response. So it depends on, do I just want to include a quick little stat, an external link, or do I want to give more of more substantial stats? So here in this case, it's saying, it's talking about the substantial growth. So look what it does. It lists a report by Fortune Business Insights and talks about the growth from 2022 to 2030. Then it lists another report by Expert Market Research, and it's talking about how it reached the 190.5 billion in 2021 and the forecast period, and then another one. So each of these stats is actually backing up our claim that this baby apparel market has grown. So we can put them all in there as footnotes, or we could put them all as statistics in various places throughout our blog, or we can just pick one and use that one. But this one really gave us a more elaborate answer with very specific um, links. Now here's the links. They're right here. So what I like to do is click on these links that it actually found. And just if there's a quick date on there that we might want to be aware of, you know, maybe I want to just make sure that that link is working. So before I'll put that link in my blog, I just click through and check it out and see where it's actually reporting. And I might keep them in there or I might not keep them in there. But personally, I find this such a valuable asset to bloggers to be able to go out there and find current statistics and replace those old ones. So I hope that was helpful for you today.